Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fultron Plays Minecraft on the F-Team Squad server! How are you? I had a hard time exiting that intro. Uh, rough takeoff. But anyways, uh, man, thank you guys so much for your support on that last episode. Fantastic work. Everybody, give yourselves a round of applause. Um, so, most requested video so far. Can you guess? You know what it is? You ready? A server tour. Oh yeah. We're gonna check out the server today. We're gonna look around. I'm gonna show you guys everything. I'll show you everything. Um, so, a lot of, uh, lot of requests for this. And, um, I am happy to do it. Um, I don't know that I've ever, I, I think the first one I did was like episode three or four of this series. Um, oh, it looks like somebody in diamond armor down there, but I think that's Prismarine. Interesting. Um... <laughs> But, I know not everybody is into kind of, you know, following along with the whole series and everything like that, so I am totally cool with showing you guys around. So let's do that. We're gonna need some ender pearls, because I ain't gonna be walking everywhere. Lord knows. Um, uh, I got some, oh, I got some great advice uh, on this tower. Somebody said, uh, use uh, this stuff, the, uh, the smoothed out stuff. Um, great. Like it a lot. Thank you for that. Um, and probably also there as well. Somebody else said to do it up there. Very good. Very good. I like it. Um, there was something else and it's slipping my mind. Oh, I remember what it was. Uh, up on top, somebody said to... Uh, there's a um, one of these slabs up on top that's uh, blocking a log. Because uh, it, it looks funky. And so, I'll just show you. <laughs> it's pointless for me to sit here and try to describe this. Alright, let's just do this here. Um, so right up here, I put this half slab. Um, somebody said use carpet. Great. Perfect. I should do that. I don't have any on hand, but when I do, you better believe I'm going to do it. Ain't nobody going to stop me. Oh, I just realized I have... Wait a second. This is the wrong thing. Why do I have... Am I, am I going crazy? Why do I have andesite? Unpolished andesite in here? Where did that come from? That must... I don't know. <laughs> Put that back. I don't want it. Alright. Here we go. We are off. So you guys have seen the PvP arena. I don't need to show you anything around here. I don't think. Um, there's tunnels underneath. But they're just tunnels. So like this base connects to this building here. Which then also connects to this base over here. Um, and then there's a tunnel that goes up into that tower, and then obviously we saw in the last episode a tunnel that goes into that tower. So that's all you need to know about that. Um, so, let's head out here. This is the outside of the PvP arena. Obvious statement is obvious. Uh, down here we have our nether fortress. Nope, that's not the right word. Our end portal. <laughs> I just literally said words. I didn't even think about what I was saying. I just let words come out of my mouth. Um, all right, so uh, let's go visit the Ender Farm. Okay, here we go. Ba -doop. All right, it is uh, this way. I don't know if I should uh, fast forward this or not. It's kind of a long walk. And a lot of you said that 30 minutes is too long. So, uh, I get that. I totally understand that. Um, I just felt like I was, you know, kind of getting some really good building in there and I wanted to make sure I got it all in the recording. I didn't want to stop in the middle of building those buildings. Um, let's do something first here. Uh, music and sounds. Uh, hostile creatures. We'll turn that way down. Okay. So this is my ender farm. Uh, there's an episode that I did about this, and uh, you can check that out. Um, can I pick up a couple? It's really easy to kill these guys. Just It's a great XP farm, too. Works splendidly. Like a charm. Um, and then we've got chests here that are all filled <laughs> with... Uh, those are... Whoops. Come back. Thank you. Uh, enchanted books that I don't want. Um, 
lots of ender pearls. So, uh, and then an enchanting station. With, uh, all the necessities. All right. So let's head back, and then uh, the next thing we're gonna check out is Elder Biscuit's house. All right. I'll be right back. Okay, we're here right out front of Elder Biscuit's house. Okay, his little humble abode sits here in the middle of a, of a roof forest. He's quite, uh, likes to live on the edge, if you know what I mean. That tree ain't never gonna grow, man. I can tell you that right now. Um, but we are here. Let me kind of show you guys around. Now, Elder Biscuit, uh, is a fantastic man who, uh, He's a, he's a streamer. He does a lot of streaming on Beam. So, uh, this way is a couple spawners, like some mob trap kind of like, uh, farms and whatnot that he has set up. And then back here, he's got kind of like his living quarters and then some nether stuff with some villagers and some carrots. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on in there. Uh... And then over here is his storage area. So he's got enchanting. What's down here? Oh, I've never been down here. Have I? Oh, it just leads to the same place. Confusing me, man. Nothing over here. I always feel like he has some secret layer somewhere that I don't know about. Probably does. Um, he is kind of tricky like that. So here's his little auto smelter deal. Just put stuff in that chest and it goes through the thing and cooks itself and comes out here. Uh, this is his storage area. <laughs> Originally, he used to have um, item frames and all this stuff. And you'd walk in and it was like 10 frames, 10 frames a second. Pretty fantastic. So he's he's kind of streamlined that. Um, and this is Elder Biscuit's house. He's got um, the portal here, uh, a humongous mine, kind of a strip mine down there. And he dug this whole thing out. And then... Uh, if you go through there, he's got a couple like extra curricular places that he's been working on. Um, but you'll have to you have to check him out on beam.pro slash elder biscuit uh, to see some more of that stuff. Um, he is actually the only other person that has any content uh, on this server. Uh, somebody asked who the other like what the other people's uh, YouTube channels were. It's only me and Elder Biscuit that are putting out content on this thing. So. That's all you need to know about that. All right, so we're going to head over to spawn right now. Just so you kind of know where we are, back that way is uh, the PvP arena. Um, this is his lighthouse that he built. Um, it's pretty cool. It's empty inside, but it's pretty cool. You can see it from a lot of different places if your render distance is set far enough. Uh, this is M. Jeremy's house. He's one of the uh, uh, active users on this server. Okay, so he's got that house there. This is my brother's house. He's currently semi-inactive, but he was in the process of moving across the country. So I give him a pass. Uh, but originally he was in charge of food. So he had a ton of chickens, ton of sheep. Um, he has, I don't know if he still has rabbits. Do they still exist? Yeah, he still, well, he used to have a ton more. But, um, and he also, at one point he had a baby. Um, well, his wife had a baby. And his name is Elias. He's my little nephew, Elias. And so I, I got him this. It's a little crib. And there's Zombie Elias. Isn't that nice? <laughs> zombie Elias terrorizing the world. Um, this is uh, this is Elder Biscuit's uh, cactus farm that he built. Uh, this is his iron farm that he built, which is actually going splendidly. It works pretty well, I'd say. Pretty fancy stuff. Homie knows what he's doing. Now this, sorry, I have to. Okay, I'm done. Um, so things we need to check out in spawn. We have the slime farm, which is down here, which I've done a couple episodes about this slime farm. This should be interesting to see if I can do this or not. Um, but you come over here, and you fall down, fall, fall, fall down. There we go. Woo. Okay. So this is the slime farm. This is the very bottom of it, obviously. Um, you can come up here and get a little better view of it. A lot of you guys have left comments about the pixel art up front or up at the top. Thank you so much. Little slime face. I'm glad you guys like it. Uh, it's pretty efficient. Um, pretty standard. I mean, this is, you know, basically what you would always... Oh, that guy didn't make it. Jumped in the one spot that he would die. That's sad. Um, pretty standard slime farm. Not much, uh, not much to, to see there. Um, but if we head back down here, you can kind of see, I haven't touched this thing in a while. It's got quite a bit of, um, 
quite a bit of stuff. It's a little, little backed up. A little bit. So, uh, yeah. Things are probably just despawning at this point. So this is a slime elevator that I saw somebody make. I don't remember who made it, but uh, might have actually been Mumbo now that I think of it. Oh, ouch. Um, okay. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and stop there. So technically you're supposed to be able to walk right up to this thing, face it, and hit this button. And... We made it! Booyah! It works like 20% of the time because I'm on a server and I'm recording. So, um, and this is the front of the building that I never finished. So, I don't know if I ever will. Because uh, we never use the slime for... Oh! Whoops. Alright. Uh, what's next? What's next? Reed farm. Let's go check out the reed farm. This is a design that I came up with. Um, and... I'm pretty impressed with it. It's a 100% efficient reed farm, and I'd say it does it, it does a pretty good job. It does a pretty good job, okay? Uh, so yeah, it's it's full. Basically, it's 100% efficient because uh, we've got slime blocks that are pushing these things out, and so they all, everything that's available will get harvested and will end up at the bottom, where this water stream will take it through a hopper situation and push it up into this chest. So, um, some of the big ones that you've seen that are kind of like the diamond shaped ones, uh, you lose some and it, they don't, uh, some of them don't get pushed all the way off the edge. Um, and so with this one, everything that grows too high will be pushed off the edge. And so you'll always get what is available. So yeah, one last thing before we leave spawn. Oh no, a couple more things before we leave spawn. Here's the villager village. Um, this is kind of like just a, a free-range villager area and uh, We've got ourselves an iron golem that spawned naturally a couple of these guys have pretty good trades A lot of them are locked out because we've overused them. So he's got 40 for an emerald So that's where I've been getting my emeralds. We've got a little farm here and just little areas for them to hang out. This is their um, Their uh, Room that they do stuff in to breed. I don't want to talk about it all right, and then last but not least, my friends, the main attraction of Spawn. Are you ready for this? The one and only, the infamous Foof. <laughs> Some of you have seen the video. I highly encourage you to go watch this episode right now. My brother and I built this building. It's one of the first shops that we built uh, in Spawn. And, uh, uh, man... I have never laughed so hard while recording an episode, and it is well worth a watch. So go check that out. That is the Foof episode. We've got our enchanting station here for all your enchanting needs, and a wheat station, and I think that's it. This is how you get to the nether underneath here. Just right there. Okay, good, good, good. Um, let's see. All right, now we're going to go. Uh, I'm going to cut away here because we got to travel a little ways. We're going to go to my brother's secret hideout. Okay, we'll be right back. All right, we're here. Uh, spawn is back that way. You can see the beacon right there. You can also see the, the iron farm right, right there. Um, so this is my brother's secret base. Uh, it's kind of on hold right now, but this is kind of a hidden base that he's done. This is actually to mark, <laughs> this is not to mark his hidden base. Uh, this is to mark a zombie spawner that uh, we were going to use, but we ended up not using it because uh, Elder Biscuit found two of them right next to each other and we utilized those for a super efficient zombie farm. So the way this works, I hope to goodness this actually still works. Here we go. Ah! Sploosh. He has an underground tree. Uh, house thing that is not even close to finished <laughs> so a lot of work that has to be done there um, but we had, we had started working on that and um, then he moved and had some things he had to do and so he's been on a little bit of a hiatus on the server but uh, hopefully he'll be back and uh, yeah so we were trying to make you know it's kind of like the is it what's it called the great Deku tree from Ocarina of Time or something like that um, but yeah, so there's that and then the way you get out is you just come up the staircase right here You just walk your little self right up these stairs You get all the way to the top and something magical happens. I'll tell you. I'll show you. I'll show you with your eyeballs You ready? So you come up here Hidden base Hidden base. 
Nobody knows that that's a staircase right there. Oh, and it is dark and this place is super hostile. So I'm going to get out of here <laughs> and I'm going to cut right here as well. Cause we got to walk all the way back across spawn, uh, back to my house. We're going to take a look at Fultron's house and then, um, check out the nether and that should, that should conclude it. Oh, I'm in a fence. Uh, but I'll be right back. Okay, here we are on the other side of spawn. As you can see, there's Foof right there. And then uh, we were just like way over there on that other side. But here is my house. This, my friends, is my pride and joy. Probably my favorite build I've ever done in my entire life. Um, I, I don't know, like, okay, when I started this server, if you go back and watch, you'll see that I put off building a house for the longest time. I just did not have any inspiration. I could not think of anything. And um, and just one day I went into my creative world and I just built this. I just built the whole thing. I did the interior, the decorating, everything. And then I just copied it verbatim. I didn't use like any MC edit or anything like that. I just took a lot of snapshots and just recreated it in uh, survival. And that my friends was a process. But this is my favorite build that I've ever done. It's probably the most detailed build I've ever done. Um, and I just love the way it looks. I love how it sits on top of this hill. And I'm not trying to toot my own horn. I'm just saying as objectively as I can, this is my favorite build I've ever done. Um, I've got a couple little crops there, some, some food, just bare minimum. Um, originally, you would enter through, I think, right about here. And uh, there was a door here. And that was my kind of hidey hole for months. That's how I lived in just a hidey hole. So we'll come inside here. Um, oh, I need to take these down. These are very, very old. Uh, I've just always kept those up. Um, all right. So here's kind of like my initial storage room. This is like the essentials and stuff that um, I really need, you know, minerals and stuff like that. Some dyes, some bone meal and farming stuff for out there. Uh, the food, obviously very important. A uh, ender chest and then just lots of baking stuff. Okay. Um, I think that's, yeah, that's just random stuff. So here's my bedroom. Okay. This is where I sleep. Let's go ahead and do that right now. So we can get some daylight going on. Whew. I don't think I've ever talked this fast or this much in an episode, but I got a lot to show you. Oh, here's where I keep all my under pearls in case you were wondering. Okay. And I think this is just random stuff. Yeah. Uh, I've come down here. Let's do that. Let's do that later. We don't need to go down there. That's my strip mine down there. And uh, I really don't need to show you that. There's nothing special down there. Um, and I've already showed that in a pretty recent episode. Here's my balcony where I can look out over my kingdom, over the F Team Squad server, and declare things. You're all fantastic people, except for you, whoever that was. All right. <laughs> Uh, that was a failed attempt to be funny. Okay, uh, some wool and slime. Okay, so here is the storage area. This is where I keep everything. So um, maybe you guys can get an idea of some cool ways to organize stuff. This is kind of what I did this time around. I've got all the logs and then saplings according to those logs here. So this is all jungle wood. But then if I come over to the, to the chest adjacent to it, this is all the planks of that wood that was in the other chest. So that's how I do it. So you've got uh, the uh, six types of wood and uh, they take up four chests. Um, and then the rest is just kind of random stuff. Um, yeah, just random stuff. These are testing items for enchants and another ender chest. This is like uh, potion stuff here, uh, ender chest stuff. These are um, like prismarine, uh, let's see, that's end stuff and then um, prismarine stuff and glass and some stone stuff. So yeah. And then I always put roof access on my houses cause I love to get up on my roof and just kind of look out and see what things look like. Oh, there's that bridge. I forgot to show you guys. Somebody said it looked like a sandwich and I was like, yeah, it does. It looks like a subway sandwich. You're right. <laughs> oh, whoops. My bad. <laughs> there we go. It does look like a sandwich. You just want to take a big bite of it. You need some lettuce or some meat or something. It looks a little empty, but yeah. So there's that. And there we go. There we go. All right. The last thing I want to show you guys before we take off is the nether. 
So let's uh, let's head on down. I'm gonna eat a steak. Okay. So our Nether is pretty. It's it's a humble a humble build, if you will. Uh, nothing super special about it, but uh, Elder Biscuit was kind of in charge of that area, and he did a nice job of sprucing it up and making it nice and organized. Uh, let's see here. How much time we got? Okay, we need to wrap this up, like, super quick. Alright, so Flood Mud, in case you guys are wondering, that was Elder Biscuit's old name, so that's, that's a little outdated. That takes us back to Elder Biscuit's, uh, place. This takes us to, I think, another one of Elder Biscuit's place. He has, like, a remote area that he's kind of tinkering with. Um, this is a whole bunch of stuff out here. So this will take you to a nether fortress where you can farm for wither skeletons or wither skulls out that way. Um, that is nothing. That is a mistake that needs to be closed up. Um, there's a mushroom island this way. And I feel like there's something else this way. Oh, uh, one of the, um, water temples is this way as well. But this takes us back to the end portal, which also takes us back to the PVP arena. And we have come full circle. Ta -da! So I hope that, uh, satisfied your guys' palate for today. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. Looks like we've got a little bit work, a little bit more work left on this arena. And pretty soon we're going to be doing some crazy PVP. Um, huge shout out to Dark Kodiak and uh, Tide Lurker who have been working on the class system and the command block setup for this PVP arena. They are amazing. Uh, Dark Kodiak is a command block genius and he's really good at what he does and I tested it out today some of you may have seen the tweet that I tweeted out earlier um, on Sunday and just said that I got to test it out with him and I had a blast it was so much fun it's not even balanced yet like it's totally like it, it, it needs a little work as far as balance goes and he's working on that which is great but like it was so much fun it's gonna be so much fun different people with different abilities that all kind of like rock paper scissors each other out so um, so look forward to that. That's going to be awesome. So we're almost done with this place. I mean, I would say we're probably 70% there. Yeah, I think so. Because like even this building is just going to be a direct copy of the building that's on the other side, just with red in it instead of yellow. So I think it's going to be nice. And we just have the wall to do, which man, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother thing. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, Let's see, is there anything I need to remind you of? Oh, I did I did talk to Mumbo uh, on Sunday um, and I asked him, I said, how did you find me? Like, how did you, f how did you hear about me? And he said there was a handful of people that suggested me and um, like a couple people told him about me and then a lot of people confirmed that, that he should feature me. And guys, I just want to thank you so much. Like, thank you for, um, for doing that for me. Like, that's just you didn't have to do that. And, and Mumbo didn't have to feature me, but you guys, you guys didn't have to, you know, put my name out there either. And I just, I'm so thankful for that. Cause this has been amazing. I'm so excited and I'm having a blast with all these new subscribers, all these new people. You guys are so freaking nice, man. Gosh, even when you're, even when you're trying to be mean, you're nice. Like some of the comments are like, Hey, you kind of suck at building that, that one thing you built. But I love you and I'm going to subscribe anyway. And I'm like, oh, thanks, man. <laughs> so thank you guys so much. Um, you guys are awesome. And it's been so much fun. And I look forward to hanging out with you guys for a long time. I'm not going anywhere. And uh, and yeah, it's going to be fantastic. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, please leave a like uh, if you enjoyed it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do that. And I'll see you guys Wednesday. Uh, at beam.pro slash Fultron when I stream from 8 to 10 p.m. Central Time. And we're going to have a lot of fun. So come hang out. And I'm not sure what we're going to do, whether we're going to work here or if we're going to do something completely different. Um, but we'll figure it out. All right. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys later. Fultron out. <laughs>